When the FDA is expected to make its decision to approve a COVID-19 vaccine next week for use later this month, Texas will be ready. 1.4 million doses are already expected to arrive here in the next two weeks. And we know frontline health care workers and Texans living in nursing facilities are at the front of that line. But which groups come next is a decision the state expert vaccine advisory panel, which makes recommendations to the state health director, is still working on. We've been very, very encouraged um, by the work of this panel. Serena Bumpus is an RN. She is helping advise the panel as director of the Texas Nurses Association, which represents the group of Texans first eligible to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. There's a lot of mixed uh, feelings about it right now. She says she hears from nurses a mix of enthusiasm, uncertainty, and yes, even opposition to taking the vaccine. It's opposition that's backed up by data. According to the American Nurses Foundation, Pulse on the nation's Nurses COVID-19 survey, this was conducted in October. 36% of the nearly 13,000 nurses who took the survey answered no when asked, would you voluntarily vaccinate yourself against COVID-19? We do have some, some education, I think, that needs to be done. Uh, to to help people feel confident about the vaccine and the safety of the vaccine. Bumpus says she's confident that education is already happening and that a more recent data snapshot of nurses would likely reflect more buy-in now, especially since two vaccine candidates have shown a 95% ability to work. It's important, especially for our healthcare workers, to, to get the vaccine. It um, It is perfectly safe for them to, to get it. In Dallas, I'm David Goins.